Welcome back from the bench, everybody. As always, it's Eric, and today we have another retail box. This is Series 2 from this year, 2021-2022. I put it out as a poll on Instagram, on my story, and this is what you guys voted for me to open. Uh, a couple other things that I'm going to have eventually to open on the channel. I got three, kind of one, two, three different blasters from this year, uh, and then I got... Three different tins, we have series two, uh, series one, and series two from last year. Uh, all gonna be opened up on the channel, coming up here in the next couple episodes. Uh, and then I got two more uh, retail boxes, got those, uh, all this from 401 Games, no sponsorship, no nothing, uh, just a decent deal uh, for all of it. So that's why I bought it, so here we go. Going to be looking for six young guns. Retail boxes are cheaper uh, than what you can get a hobby box for. Obviously, you're missing out on those hobby exclusives. They like clear cut, like exclusives, like high gloss, and like other just regular inserts that they have. Um, but you can still get all the good young guns, which is really what we're looking for overall. Um, you know, your chances of hitting those crazy hits uh, in series two. Uh, aren't the greatest anyways. So here we go. We're going to open them up, slide those over, and away we go. Uh, I'm going to be releasing this early in the morning. So if you are in the area, if you are in New Brunswick, uh, and you're looking, watching this right away, essentially I will be at a card show until uh, 1 p.m., I believe. It moves from 9 to 1. Uh, today, Saturday the 15th, I think today that's the date is. Um, I posted a couple times. But after this pack, I'll post the information uh, again. Dustin Brown, Magnapani, and Brent Burns in the honor roll. So, first hit is an honor roll. I've seen a lot of people uh, weren't very excited that honor rolls back uh, for year two. They just, people are not excited with that. Uh, <laughs> Sutter, uh, oh, here we go. Getting weird cards, weird uh, packs again. Backward pack. Owen Tippett, and an Ivan Prozvetov. There we go. So Prozvetov in the marquee rookie. Once again, starting this off. We're we missing a card there. No, we were, we got all of our cards there, I think. But anyways, uh, yeah, card show. Yeah, hopefully it's gonna go good. Um, it's what you always hope for. Ton, a ton of dealers at this show. Uh, for this time, it's not the biggest venue in the world. It's an old, like, essentially, what would they call that? Like, community hall type of thing. Uh, older, everything else. Not very big, but they have a main floor and an upstairs. And uh, as you guys will see the vlog when I release it. But hopefully it's pretty good. Uh, first, Young Gun. Oh, it's a Young Gun's canvas for the Kings. <laughs> Former Moncton Wildcat, Vladimir Kachev. So there's our kind of a bonus hit that we're going to get in this. It's kind of fitting once again for myself. So I'll sleeve him up real quick. I think I already got this. I think I actually just I ended up buying it um, just because it's one of those ones. I think it was early on. I wasn't sure how many I was going to hit, you know, how many of these I was going to open and stuff. Um, but there we go. So, uh, yeah, hopefully it's pretty good. I'm bringing a ton of stuff. So, I uh, redid all my uh, bins and stuff, checked through them, repriced my bigger stuff, anything that kind of was like $10 or more. I usually just recheck those real quick if I haven't checked them in a while. Uh, Labushkin, Chris Dreiger, Rocco Grimaldi, and Colt Perfetti in the blue. It's not a bad hit. Um, but, yeah, so that was that's the main thing. Uh, I just kind of go over that, some of the stuff, which is why you should go look through the cheaper boxes, your dollar, two dollar, five dollar boxes, whatever they are. Uh, I have them all in the same box, just to keep it easier. And then I just color code them with stickers. Um, but Scott Lawton and Shane Pinto. He was one that I'm surprised. I guess it's like a 15 or 20 dollar card now. This young gun kind of, kind of threw me off when I was going through all of it. So, um... But yeah, so like I said, I always just go through it. But that means the $2 stuff that I usually have in my bins, uh, typically that's obviously a little bit cheaper. So sometimes I miss something in there. Maybe that's a $5 card now. I just wasn't paying attention. Uh, Fabro, another honor roll. This is going to be Morgan Riley. 
the Leafs. They got win number one of the year in game two. Uh, I was, had the games on earlier. Who was winning? Uh, Tampa was winning. And I don't think the Montreal and uh, Detroit game had any goals yet. Phil Kessel, Tyson Berry, Vinny Trocek, and for the Canucks... William Lockwood, I've pulled a ton of this guy. I don't know why, but I've just, I think I have like four of him in my box, three or four. So if you're a William Lockwood collector, and you just want all the young guns. Whew, I tell you, I, I could make you a deal. So here we go, uh, Suter again, Erickson Eck, Barbanov, Jesper Fast, and our first is a Morgan Riley. We're doubling up on the Morgan Rileys here. So there we go. Once again, fitting for all of this. Uh, I think that's the way a lot of my Series 2 stuff is gone. I've mentioned it before. Essentially, if you hit a guy once, chances are you're going to hit uh, a second one of his cards. Whether it's a young gun, whether it's another parallel uh, or insert, uh, chances are you're going to hit that multiple times. So Jason Spencer, Ryan Getzlav, and a Taylor Radish. Provorov. Uh, backdrop of the day, decided, uh, obviously, Avalanche are one and one It's kind of a weird schedule. You have a big celebration for the Avalanche night one, kind of everything going on, celebrations. Then you have them immediately fly to Calgary and get into like their hotel apparently at like 4 a.m. Kind of odd. So, uh, Corpus Allo, no excuse though. Calgary showed up, played a good game. Uh, Lane Peterson for San Jose. Ovi uh, now behind Crosby uh, for 20th overall for all time points. About like two points when I'm recording this. So they're going to go back and forth probably a couple times over the season, but Crosby's just got it in like 150 less games. Uh, Ryan O'Reilly, next young gun is going to be for the Red Wings. Can we get Cider? There we go. Moritz Cider. What timing on that? There we go. Moritz Cider. Young Gun. Put that down real quick. Do my fancy little trick here just so I don't catch a corner. Boom. Boom. Just the small little things in the world. Try to make these cards. Be the best shape possible for when if I go to grade them. Might be able to pass that. The centering's not terrible. The top edge might be able to clean up a little bit. There we go. Not a bad hit. That uh, that pays for the box. That's right there. Without anything else in this, that pays for the box. Um, a backdrop of the day, like I said, Colorado losing 1-1, one one, that's fine. Uh, we got the Bowen Byram, that's the extended series from last year. is like a secret insert, so it's a Opeachy 3D. Uh, we got the Nathan McKinnon PSA 10, and then we got the color-coded. That's brand new. Once again, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that as a mail day pickup. I love that card. They're just the, uh, I don't have any bigger top loaders apparently, by the way, but just look at this card. Autographed, color matching, ink, out of 99. Kind of has that like color blast uh, style that you see in like prism and stuff um, for like football and basketball. Anyways, I just love that. I think it's great. Uh, Nick Cousins, Chris Letang, upside down Dylan Dubé, who had a goal last night, and a Dazzlers of Jordan Eberle, which. Brings me to my next point. What does everybody think? Who does everyone think? Let me know in the comments. Who you think is going to win the Calder? So Rookie of the Year for hockey. Um, or who do, who of all these guys, of these young guys, you think is going to have the best season? Could include Raymond, can include Cider, any of these guys, Caulfield, whoever. Uh, Matty Beneers, man, that kid looks so good. Uh, we got the red, which is, I think, shorter print. And it is Brady Kachuk. Red or orange, I don't know what that they classify that as. There we go. Another Dazzler. Pacioretty. 
But anyways, uh, Matty Medeiros, the guy I think had like a goal pretty much every preseason game. Uh, already has three points on the year in two games. He's playing a ton of ice time. On the power play one, I think the kid's going to put up some major points this year. Uh, he will probably be a guy I'm chasing, depending on his price and stuff, when Series 1 comes out for this year, because he is part of that checklist. Probably going to be a guy that I chase a little bit. Uh, Austin Matthews. There we go. Another former Moncton Wildcat, Benoit Olivier Guru. Uh, Yamamoto, Mitch Marner, Nikushkin, and Kyle Connor. So, so far, pretty decent box. Uh, an extra... We got the Young Guns Canvas, plus we got the Extra Dazzlers. This is better than my last hobby box, for sure. This is upside down for some reason. We'll just open them. We'll just keep on continuing on upside down. Dylan Dubé again. See, upside down, then not upside down. Uh, Brent Gallagher, there we go. Uh, Michael McLeod, Wayne Simmons, and Max Comtois. I thought it was really nice what Montreal did for um, Carey Price, by the way. I thought, you know, kind of announcing him, allowing him to come out the tunnel, get that standing ovation. It's pretty good. Uh, Miko Rantanen, Andrew Kopp, Brady Kachuk, Matthew Joseph. And the next one is for the Bruins, Oscar Steen. Oscar Steen. So there we go. For the Bruins, this is 100%. The last box I opened, I'm pretty sure I got Oscar Steen. I'm pretty sure I got Lockwood. And so I pretty sure, think I know my, if the retail boxes are the same, uh, then I did miss the Mort side. I only hit five young guns in my last box. Pretty sure I was supposed to hit uh, a cider and uh, didn't. Emailed Upper, upper Deck, kind of said, like, I think this is what, I didn't say uh, cider at the time. I said, I'm assuming I'm missing a pretty good one. Kind of seeing the rest of my young guns. They said, we'll get back to you. Um, somebody will take, you know, we'll email you back over the next whatever. Uh, Duncan Keith now just accepted a role with the Oilers, which I kind of thought was weird. Um, in like the front office or something. I just thought it was weird. Lifetime, I guess he's probably from the area. Maybe that's why it's easier. But just life, you know, career long Chicago player. And all of a sudden he's in the Oilers front office. Just weird to me. You play there for like one underwhelming season. It's just one, right? I think it was just one. But uh, Oposo, we got another Dazzler. Ryan Strom, another Dazzler, another Red. Come on. Vasilevsky. So we've hit three Dazzlers. Uh, another weird box. Surprise, surprise. So there we go. Another Dazzler. Just a bunch of base cards. Just a bunch of base cards. I swear, I, I hit the weirdest boxes. I don't know how it happens. It just it just does. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments, going back to my before I saw a squirrel and went off on a tangent here. Let me know who you think is going to be the best rookie uh, from either last year's Young Guns crop or this year's Young Guns crop. Let me know who you think. Uh, we got upside down cards until we hit the Young Gun again. This is going to be for the Canucks. Nope, different, uh, different configuration than the hobby box Vasily Puck Colson it's another good one some uh, some Canuck fans are really high on him I've seen people talk like pretty highly about him uh, seems like he's got a decent uh, collection base too from what I could see so always a good one that people are high on somebody that's not a bad thing I have to message my buddy, see if he, my PSA order went out or not. I think it may have by this point, but might be able to put that cider in with the rest of my order. It is 70, I have like 76 or 78 cards. I think I figured out like Canadian prices. I'm going to have like a $1,800 like grading bill. Now it can be summed up in a couple cards. You can make up that money, but geez. Just seems like a lot of alt ones. Uh, San Jose, we got Thomas Hurdle. So there we go. Thomas Hurdle, Canvas, Gino, Connor Sheary, and a Yegor Sharangovich. Another guy I find cheap for the amount of points he puts up. I think I've said that like since that he came out in Extended or Series 2, whatever it was. Guy was like third or fourth for rookie scoring like two years ago. Had a bunch of stuff going for him and 
his card price is like just never reflected it. Um, what we got here? Another marquee rookie. Yep. Jonathan Dallin for San Jose. I think he's been traded now or just cut and signed with somebody else. I'm pretty sure he got, I don't want to, I don't want to sound stupid. I'm 99% sure he's no longer with the Sharks. I don't fact check any of this stuff. I'm just, all this isn't like, obviously you see my face, you see me recording. So I don't have like all any of these, you know, stats afterwards. Uh, William Eklund, not bad. Another guy I think is going to be pretty good. William Eklund. This has been a pretty good box. <laughs> a cider and a pod Colson. Uh, you can't complain here. we got two packs left. So these last two should be both young guns, right? Unless we get shorted another young gun. Did this happen again? I will come after you, upper deck. Uh, McKinnon, Stammer. There we go. A Jan Yenick. My boy, Jan Yenick. My only ever high gloss I've ever pulled. We get the Jan Yenick rookie threads. I looked him up when I was trying to decide if I wanted to keep the high gloss or not and see if he would be good. He actually looks like he might have a little bit of a future in the NHL. Uh, did pretty good in the minors. So, And Young Guns for Nashville. It's a Frederick Allaird. So there we go. And this has been a just awesome box. Not the Frederick Allaird. I don't, I don't think Frederick Allaird uh, justifies that. But the cider, uh, the canvas, young gun, the rookie threads, couple dazzlers, which I think are probably the best insert in all of this. And so there we go. Last pack. If you guys haven't, like I said, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. Uh, I always try to post a decent amount on there. I'm going to try to post even more. I know I say that all the time, but... I try to do more stuff on like stories, essentially, kind of give you guys behind the scenes. Um, this will be a vlog. There'll be a vlog. Uh, probably. It's only a one-day show. So probably go up Sunday or Monday. I'm trying to decide. It all depends uh, what my schedule looks like and how much editing I need to do uh, with it. But I should have a card show vlog uh, for the, the card show, the Hub City card show. So uh, if anybody wants to check that out, like I said, make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, to see all that we got barbanov we got a checklist so weird this is upside down and for the blues what a box jake neighbors which anybody knows me and watches this channel i think this kid's gonna be good just flat out i think he's gonna be good um yeah he just he has a lot of things I like. Also, JJ Paterka, I just want to put that out there. Uh, I was kind of singing his praises from uh, extended series. Kid goes out, scores in his first ever game. So, just want to put that out there. I know I seem like a, a dummy that just likes cards sometimes, but um, sometimes I know what I'm talking about. Sometimes I just just get a feeling about some of these guys. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Uh, cider neighbors. Um, Pod Colson, Young Guns Canvas of a former Moncton Wildcat. Uh, got rookie threads for Jan Yenick, my boy. Um, that's a pretty good box. Not going to lie to you guys. Uh, you know, like I said, like and subscribe. Once again, if you guys are here for just this, do other stuff too. Uh, PSA reveals, uh, submission kind of previews, card show vlogs, and a lot of ripping hockey wax. So, um, hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. And for Eric, we're back to the hockey Bye, guys.